Okay, so we're here at Quad Standard Labs and we wanted to walk through the antenna choices for your DJI goggles, um, depending on what you fly. And this is really important and it's kind of difficult to explain. We tried to explain in a previous video, but this I think breaks it down in the best visual way possible. So I'm gonna try to quickly run through this and just make it make some sense. So quick housekeeping and understanding. If all you fly is air units and vistas, so basically just standard DIY, DJI builds that you build or you buy that have air units and vistas, you're using 5.8 frequency. Your V2 goggles can do 5.8 and 2.4. They come with an antenna that is uh, meant to be for 5.8 or 2.4. It is not the same antenna that comes with your V1 goggle, which is only 5.8. I didn't open the antennas because I don't want to get into all that, but they are different internally. So if you're using V2 to fly air units and vistas, you should upgrade your antennas off the V2s to your V1 antennas. These are the two antennas you should use if you're only flying air units and vistas. Stock V1 antennas or an upgraded antenna of your choice. We happen to use True RC Stubby Singularities. If that's all you fly and you fly V2s, you can leave now because you know all the information you need. If you fly V2 goggles and you fly the DJI drone, the DJI Radio V2, and you also fly uh, 5.8 Vistas and air units, you also need to know, as well as, by the way, the Radio V1, you need to understand a little more in depth of what you're using. So this antenna, again, is tuned and specifically meant to be able to fly 5.8 or 2.4. Different antenna than only 5.8. This allows the 2.4 and 5.8 to connect with the DJI drone, which, yes, is selectable. However, there are other magical things going on between the connectivity that I can tell you from my experience flying the 5.8 and 2.4 uh, stock antenna while flying an air unit with the V1 radio, which is the black old radio. I was having horrible range issues with the radio. I also was not having great reception like I usually do with my air unit. So this antenna is not very good if you're flying air units and V1 radio, which is again, the black radio. Because you have to fly this radio with these air units, if you're using this antenna, you will have problems. That's why I have this as a no-go. I do not recommend trying the radio with the V2 goggle on those antennas. All right, so what's the answer if the, that's your situation? Your situation is you should have a dual duality upgraded antenna. What this antenna will allow is your 5.8 and your 2.4 are no longer split and they're not optimizing the antenna on a single set. They're actually using two actual tuned antennas specific to the 5.8 and 2.4 needed. And these antennas while flying air units and radios actually work well and don't have any degradation. You'll have the same experience as you have on your 5.8s on here when you're flying 5.8. And when you're flying the DJI drone, you will not have any issues. So basically here it is. This antenna that comes with your V2 goggle is really only optimized for the DJI drone, period. If you're flying the DJI drone and this antenna with the DJI V2 radio, no problems. If you try to fly air units, you won't have any real problem if you're using your own control. But if you try to use that V1 radio, you are going to have issues on this stock antenna. So here we are again. If you fly only 5.8 on V2s, just get yourself some 5.8 antennas. Be done with it. Don't worry about it. You'll be able to fly the V1 radio, all the air units, everything on the V2 goggle just fine. If you fly the drone you're going to basically just want to upgrade your antenna. That's the long, that's the short. I tried to keep it under five minutes, so I'm gonna let you guys go. I really hope this helps. Fly safe, fly smart, buy your antennas for whoever. It doesn't matter to me. Thanks, peace.